Jesus. One of them's going to jump on. Oh my god! What's going on guys? Welcome back to Atomic Heart. The first part was crazy, as you know. It was action-packed, there was a lot of things going on, and yeah, this thing happened right at the end of the episode, which freaked me out a little bit, uh, but I'm interested to see where we're going to go today, what's going to happen, and unfold more of the story. So without further ado, let's jump into this and continue. Uh, oh god. Wait, am I going this way now? Hello? So, the robots are all going crazy. They're taking over. So, keep my head on a swivel because they seem to just run out of nowhere. I think this is from that big massive worm thing, isn't it? Looks like it. I don't think this seems to be any form of torch or anything. Okay, so we've got an inventory. We can see the shotgun. We can see the, how many shotgun shells we've got. Small Neurad capsule, which increases our health. And then we've got large Neurad capsule, medicals. Oh, so we've got a large one as well. We've got our axe, and then we've got other small ones. Uh, there's a map. Geolocation system unavailable. Moving to open space. Oh, okay. So let's push on through here. Bloody hell, I thought something was charging at me then. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. I don't know if that's a robot right there. So I need to follow these wires. There's something over here. Wait, do I go upstairs or do I stay down here? I'm stuck. Right, so this uh, thing. Supply room's locked. This thing well, got a time running, didn't it? I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to <laughs> find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the comedy of this. What's that blue thing? What the hell? Oh, robot over there. Hello. But take care. Oh. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Okay. The facility is equipped with security cameras. On spotting the player, they raise a level one alarm and summon all nearby robots. If the player is seen fighting the robots, the alarm is escalated to level two, which means calling in reinforcements. You can distract the CCTV camera by throwing an object elsewhere or temporarily disabling it by using your, uh, using the shock. I don't know how to use my ability. Like that. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Hi. Oh, it's the first time he's hit me. I don't know if I have to go down there. But now I'm scared that I don't know where he is. And he's going to puff his way up here. Oh, he's just up there. Okay. So I don't want to go into here thinking it's all clear and he comes running up behind me, you know. Loki freaked me out. Wait, can I see him on the thing? Oh, you can. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I, I feel, I do feel a, what the? Wait, how do I throw that? How do I throw this? Aha, you found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping Peru. you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular POV A6s follow my orders. And are okay, he's still down there. So he's in the room we actually need to go to. Walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want, just ignore orders. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out about this. Wait, did I pick this up? Oh, no. I thought I did. Comrade Major, you said you knew how to avoid the camera. I expected more subtlety from a professional such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times. Whoa. Okay. So I think it's all... I think it's only things in the... Vicinity? Okay, he is down here, though. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? <laughs> Charles? Yes? Hello, like Oreos. Uh -huh. So what I, what I did last time is... You can see up in the top right hand corner now that it's only showing the alarm, but up in the top left hand corner where, where my camera was last time, uh, it shows the objective. So what I'm going to do, my camera should be up in the top right as of editing this video. Um, but in the first video, it was up in the top left, so you couldn't see really the objective. So. Hello? What is that? This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Serious? God damn it. Comrade Vishnevchaya. I'm so sorry for butchering these in. Regarding your question about the functionality of the beam decoder, 
This bulky system is a passive security device. Yes, as you were correctly remarked, any child could operate it. But while this child of yours is entering combinations, a signal is sent to the security panel, and the guard on duty can stop any unauthorized actions, whereas in an emergency, it can be operated by an untrained employee. Also, due to software limitations, robots cannot control the beam decoder, which reduces the chance of an error in the event of a robot malfunction. Does that answer your question? Huh. Congratulations on your promotion. From Vavilov Complex Manager. Uh, Exactarina, congratulations on your promotion to the position of programmer and planning for uh, Favilov Complex. And I, I and the entire management staff are thrilled by your res uh, resume uh, resume and recommendations. I apologize in advance for the somewhat less than ideal workspace. The previous employee was quite slovenly, which led to a demotion. I'm sure a woman's touch will do wonders for the office. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Ekaterina, best wishes, Vavilov. Okay. We're going to read these because I like reading like, like little bits. Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. So what do I do? What is this? Passive security relay. Unlock the passive security relay functional by putting the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. <laughs> huh? I don't know what this means. Oh, all right, so I've got to do this is going to be red up here, right? Right? Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, right? So this blue one needs to come down here. Yeah, the power's there we on. go. Let's head back. So you just need to match the bullet, the colored lines to the, the things. We're going to get stuck on one of them at some point. Guarantee it. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Does it matter? Wait, no, let's take the one he what he said. I have a feeling there might be consequences. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you you can make things easier by getting off my grill maybe i should have gone with it Ugh. how much time and effort is it going to take to fix this damn place um <laughs> rip um yeah did not expect that to happen Maybe I should have gone in the elevator. I, th yeah, never mind. How dense do, How do you I think sprint? I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only God damn it! Have I got to go back? Why would it not? Why would it not let me just jump into that little slot there? It felt like there was a lot more room. That bridge looks cool though. I might have to try and build that inside this factory. Who knows? How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. By getting off my grill. If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, <laughs> please continue. Please continue. This guy! 
guy. What were you doing in there? I heard the toilet flush and I was like, huh? I had a funny feeling though. That one was going to come out of the queue because I think most games kind of do that now. They kind of add like an enemy inside the toilet. The last of us did it. You know? Okay, there's a droid in there. The one over there. Beep, 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 There's multiple over there, and that's the room we're going in. I don't see... Why does this room look familiar? Uh, I don't see any uh, cameras. Uh, your chess club. Wait, order. Yeah, we have read this. We have been here, haven't we? We need to go in here. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Uh. Uh. I feel like I'm using the force with this. And we just got to basically grab all of this for the the upgrade station, right? Last name, uh, prisoner number, correctional facility, per, uh, personality type. Da 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 da. da. Okay, nothing really special in there. Of the following employees with the uh, pesticide workshop escort, a victim, Nylon complex. All these up <gasps> are to receive additional hazard pay for three working days. Draw up the paperwork for the trip and make sure to get done. Mm. Alright. Be kinder. I would like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of the comrade Stalin's purges are over. Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Val Val Vavilov have committed various crimes, but they're still uh, human beings. And they're still our comrades. How we treat them here will determine whether or not they learn a lesson from their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. However, I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Um, let me remind you that this neither a penal colony nor a prison. Be kinder, my friends. Okay. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation Charles. will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Charles. All right, let's get into this door. All right, what have we got to do here? Multiple enemies time. Combat shot. Use shock to, uh, on enemies to stop them in their tracks or even kill them. All right, you coming at me? Jesus! It's 
hard to determine where that's going to hit. You know? Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colt's off some tea. I'll see you in a second. Okay? Yeah, so the thing about dodging, you can't dodge like way too early because they kind of, they don't go for the same place that you was stood. Like where, they don't animation lock, if that makes sense. So when you dodge, you have to watch out because they can, like I said, they don't animation lock. So when they actually turn and hit you at the same time, you know. What is this? Are these destructible? No. Uh. Is there? Best heal, haven't I? I'm guessing that would have killed me if I walked into it. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. Oh. So this is polymer. This is what they're using on the uh, the robots. Hello. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Station master. What a joke. Uh, what was that? Huh? They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen it just like everything here? They won't go. Nope, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. We'll be able to couple with one another to produce a full-blown airborne city. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? Station master has it. Or he didn't make it. Was it as fast as me? He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Enjoy a beautiful Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master. Find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Jesus. Maybe I should have said thank you. Oh, holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I've fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. Yeah, that's weird. Access granted. Um, guns, please. Already owned. Recipe required. Electro. Mm. Upgrade consumables. Ammo. Maybe I should get some ammo.
Yeah. Right? Ammo, please. Thank you. Please select the desired procedure. What's polymer? Oh, this is this, isn't it? Available polymer, 52. Shock. Frostbite. Mass telekinesis. Polymer jet. Requires 20 polymer. Your glove can spray targets and surfaces of the jet of combat pol polymer. Once applied, combat polymer can be set on fire, electrified or frozen, dealing damage of the corresponding type to affected enemies. Your glove can surround you with a neuropolymer shield that protects you from melee and range damage and redirects part of the neutralized project. Uh, energy into the re recirculation chambers, power reserves do not protect against energy management. Adds another power cell to the recirculation chamber. I can't get telekinesis. I don't seem to buy it. Plus, I don't have enough. I think I might get frostbite. Your glove can hit targets and surface with a jet of cyclopolymer. Cryopolymer, sorry. Affected enemies are frozen and cannot move. Organic enemies are uh, especially vulnerable to low temperatures. Interesting. Maybe we get that. Let's install it. Install. Ah, okay, so we can put this into... Oh! Let's get the jet as well. So this goes into our uh, Q&E spots. Interesting. Frost your enemies to slow them down for a while. Remember, a frozen enemy only takes a portion of the damage from your attacks and thaws out more quickly with every hit it takes. Oh, God. Use polymer to enhance the effects of freezing, fire, uh, and electricity. Added, uh, apply polymer to a surface or pour into directly into an, an, an enemies. Oh. Uh. oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Well, we can save. But we need to get a schematic, apparently. God damn it. Is that it? Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Oh. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. So I need to see what this... I don't get that, though. Is that north? So it be that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, these are going to be hard to remember. Maybe not for some of you guys, but for me, I think it's this. It was. Interesting. Interesting locking mechanic. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. We are ready. To Sorry, depart. no ticket. Ten, uh oh. Nine, eight, this is not going to end well. Seven, Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Where's the worm? Jesus. One of them's gonna jump on. Oh my god! Fuck. I knew it was 
going to be rough. You think? Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm oh, yeah. quite glad to hear that. <sighs> Alright, time for some parkour. Parkour, parkour. That was one hell of a ride. Um... I don't, I don't think I can climb. Uh, I don't think I could have jumped from that. without him. Jesus. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. <laughs> I told you the Loki freaked me out. Oh, DL man, die. Jesus. Do I go through here? about that oh it's ridiculous really i was a roboticist here for you i was a barav roboticist when i heard the robots were attacking people i rushed here wanted to switch mine off so they chopped me up i was killed by my own machines the control panels got buried under the rubble 
now they're on their own, taking God knows what, like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of now does. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and in a month, they'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of town. Subway is hell. It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge science. You worked on the Buravs? From day one. We're definitely going to have to fight one, aren't we? Just about everything in here. No artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars, just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borogs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. The machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love. Care, or it'll into the oh God, no! I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels? That was a fucking hell of a ride. Bruce Willis. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier. Next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Put the laser beams in there. Okay, we've got a save point at least. Fading data. Right, what is that? Blueprint unlock. Swede handle. For a new weapon. Cool. What on earth? He's going to crawl through it. He's going to show me what happens. Maybe not. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the Neither other side. side. <laughs> there's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to it. To increase your laser resistance. Oh, okay. So we've got to. Okay. Um, what's this? Uh, security manager, please give the staff the following information at the meeting. Attention, junior engineers. In regard to the increasingly frequent incidents of Volvers getting stuck in the infinite loop, still under investigation, please remember to turn off unlike worker robots due to the nature of its design. The center of the lab tech robot's nerve endings is located in its, uh, coccyx? Cock? I'm sorry. <laughs> in the event of a malfunction, Carefully approach the robot from behind. Insert a tool into its slot in uh, to interrupt the circuit and call a technician. The graphics are different. Opening them up is strictly prohibited. Since if it remove non-specialists, their power cells could detonate. Okay. Top secret. Suspicious activity. A doctor recently assigned to the complex has increased the frequency of her visitors to the prisoner Petrov often ignoring other prisoners, requesting permission to enhance external surveillance of Viktor Petrov, prisoner number S230385, in regard to the encounters. Excerpts from a report, June 8th, 1955. Report from witness regarding prisoner F451, social rating 1. I don't think so. Petrov may be a psycho, but he's no defector. Even if they paid him to betray us, he will. He's like a child, you know? He wants to be loved and respected. He wants people to tell him he's smart and good. Around here, everywhere you look, there's just one genius after another. So he went nuts out of jealousy. 
Sure, he may be sabotaging this place, but not for some American money. And if there are money involved, then it is just an excuse to him. He craves acknowledgement, and if he can't get into a scientist or an engineer, he'll get it some other way. He wants to make it into the history books, as for those history in particular. Well, that's a lesser priority. Psychological report. Uh, Security manager V. Nukyov. The examination of Viktor Petrov's psychic and psychological state has led to the following diagnosis. Pronounced narcissism, uh, major depression based on developed inferiority complex, jealousy based on ego hypercompensation, uh, obsession with uh, theoretical uh, imagery and yearning for recognition. All in all, Petrov cannot be considered a calculating traitor. His crimes are exclusively due to traumatic factors and any potential money from the US, if not even exists, was not the reason, but merely a pretext for the, his unstable ego. I can strongly recommend transferring Petrov to a psychiatric isolation wing for treatment. Place your laser okay. resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Honey, you're back. What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Look, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. Mm. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. Jesus no Christ, to man. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us up. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. Oh, crap! That hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. <laughs> the key word being... Almost. almost. You yeah. got that right. What is going on here? Um... Ooh. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Petrov. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. That scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. He saw going through that door. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Warning. Right right alert. Lockdown in progress. Oh, God. Hi. Jesus. He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. I'm stuck. It's almost like there is property. I was stuck. I was actually stuck. I couldn't move, couldn't do... Ugh. rip a -rooney. Okay. He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like there is property. 
and he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called Anthem. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector <laughs> and we'll have to track him down again. I froze him in midair. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Are we frozen like that? What is that? It's just to like keep spitting out these. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree Peck 4 is a vegetative polymer based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. So remind me that again next time. Oh, okay. So them doors are accessible. To not zap them things. It kind of alerts them. I thought it was like something to um, deactivate uh, an alarm. have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an Ooh. explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm -hmm. I don't know how you throw it how do you throw it? That can't be it, right? You don't throw it that way, do you? I'm guessing so. I wonder what happens if you, uh... Oh, God. Sending out another one. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases. Talc or otherwise. Loaders. I'm trying to keep my head on a swivel here, you know. All right, what have we got here? Request filled. 
from Vorilov Complex Logistics E Manager, Comrade uh, Jorakanchenko, uh, where do all Vov A6 robots keep disappearing to such large numbers? They're constantly either malfunctioning or just vanishing. Needless to say, I've gotten in touch with Pavlov Complex and they're going to send us some more units. Get your Pelican loaders ready for a new shipment tomorrow and sort out these disappearing Volvers. Keep an eye on your equipment inventory. You have been warned. Okay. Duh. That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's oh my God. didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out. That's oh, I got a blur. Us. Ah. I think I've got to wait for one of these. This one, to be, to be exact. Oh, it's a bit of a slow stopper, though. Come on. I guess I missed it. My shock's recharging. Well, cool down, I should say. Oh my god! No! A little crit. Missed it. Come on. Right, this time you're mine. It's because I keep pressing shift to sprint jump. But sprint jump is not a thing in this, you know. Oh, come on. Does he see me? Yeah, he sees me. Ow! He saw me. Okay, so we need to go into the... Oh, there's a camera. What the... This is the lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. Okay, so that's green right now. I don't want to zap that. No, it's just a matter of will he find him? Weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Yeah. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes. Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very... I've got one. Now we just need two more. Now the question is, how do we get into them rooms? From here. Ah, there's a polymer I think here. Didn't even realize. I've been lots of books, but this one. Oh, 
not that batshit lady robot perv again. Yep. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. <laughs> I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. I don't think we can because we don't have a new schematic there yet, do we? Are, sugar. Oh. oh, I missed you so much. Never mind. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl, strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you do you like it, sugar? Energy weapons. Instead of bullets, energy weapons consume your glove's energy through a cable. I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, okay. could you... Uh, could I please get out of here? Oh. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair. I've got another one. So this, I don't know if this got this pistol is gonna like stun the enemies uh, or anything. Done. But. I think it worked. Oh god, what, what is this? Do? Oh, it's just a memorial thing. What is this guy? Whew, this place is huge. Heads up, visit the Nora repair vendor often, and don't forget to learn active skills and upgrade your weapons to complete missions as efficiently as it's possible. It's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see if there's so, any skills or anything we can. Weapons. See if there's any more skills we can get, because we've obviously picked up more polymer. We've got 54 now. Uh, elect shock electrifies enemies. Character. Increase your maximum health. Increase your maximum. Uh, cluster munitions get, get uh, increased capacity. Frostbite. Upgrades your cryo's jet pressure chamber, increasing its maximum range. Telekinesis still can't get. Maybe we save for that. You know. I like how it's got these little fallout animations here. You know. Uh, polymeric jets. Obviously, you have shield. Um, I don't know if this is an active, but is this activate? I'm guessing so. Adds another power cell to the regulation chamber. Maybe we, uh, can we get that? You won't be able to use this ability and all sub abilities. The cost of abilities will be returned. Are you sure? Uh, let's increase our shock. So we can shock enemies now. Right? Nice. Let's get out of here. And then let's save. Fading data. Thank you. And then we're going to call that episode right there. Um, it's an hour long video. I kind of expect them to be about an hour ish. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're liking this game, you know, hit that like button. Uh, it gives me a good visual indicator if you are enjoying it so I can continue the story before pushing on to someone else uh, as well, to something else. Uh, but check out my other content right here. If I see you uh, and I'll see you in another, if I see you in another video, <laughs> uh, I'll see you in another video. Keep smiling and I'll, uh, I'll see you then.